This is Joni Eisenhower, Assistant Director of Health Promotion from the Bauer Center. And today we are going to make baked banana chocolate chip oatmeal. This is a great recipe if you're looking for something that's really fast, inexpensive, and also it's a great make ahead. Um, it also is appeasing the sweet tooth we all may be having right now. So let's get started. All you're going to need is a bowl. And you know those bananas that you keep on the counter and they just keep going and going bad over the few days? This is a perfect recipe to use those up. So I have about three and a half bananas in, in the bowl. Um, it does The recipe does call for three, but if you add a little bit more, it's not going to hurt it. Um, if you have a potato masher at home, that's helpful. But if you don't, you could just do this with a fork, especially if they are very, very ripe like these are. Um, so this is, again, very limited tools that you need in the kitchen. So you just mash the bananas up just a little bit, and we're going to start adding our dry ingredients. So we're adding some dried oats. Um, if you are following a gluten-free diet, you can certainly um, get the gluten-free oats, and that is not a problem, and it would work out the same. You need about two cups of oats. Okay. Um, other dry ingredients is uh, baking soda, so you want to add that in there. We're going to add some nutmeg. If you don't have nutmeg, it's not going to make a, too much of a difference, but I would definitely recommend the, the value of cinnamon in here. The ground cinnamon really going to give you a lot of flavor. Okay, so you have your dry ingredients in here. Um, this is the point where I would mix these up a little bit here. What I like about this recipe is really pretty healthy. Um, there's no added sugar, um, brown sugar or just regular uh, pure sugar. Um, that's, that's great because then it's not packing on some extra calories that um, you may not be wanting to put in your diet. Okay, so your dry ingredients are just mixed a little bit. Now we're going to add the wet ingredients. So it does call for an egg. If you are following a vegan diet, um, there are alternatives to, to using an egg. You can use um, some flax meal and some water in, instead of the egg. And we are also going to add some milk. Again, if you're following a, a dairy-free diet in any way, you could use a dairy alternative. I think a flavored soy or almond milk would be really nice in this. It, we, the vanilla or chocolate would, would come out really nice. So you're going to add, oh, I didn't see all that in there. Okay, you're going to add your milk and you're gonna mix up and just a little drip of, of vanilla. Okay. So let's mix this up. Again, you just need like a spatula, a mixing bowl. I do have the oven preheated at 375 and I do have a small Pyrex dish already um, sprayed with, with a nonstick spray. But see, it's so quick. This mixes up so quickly. Okay. So I'm going to add mini chocolate chips. Again, if you're following a diet that does not involve milk chocolate chips, you can certainly substitute for what fits your diet. You could also put blueberries in or strawberries or any kind of berry. Um, the only thing that you wouldn't be able to switch out is the banana for this recipe because that's what gives it uh, its sweetness. Um, without adding extra sugar and it also is really the base and bulk of the recipe. So I use the mini semi-sweet morsels. Um, I just feel like you're not adding as much but every bite has a little bit of chocolate in and if you're anything like me, chocolate in every bite is something I strive for. <laughs> All right, so you're just gonna mix that in. Um, if you want to add more chocolate chips, you know, that is completely up to you, but don't feel like you have to. If you don't want to add them at all, that's fine too. And that is really what 
we need to do for prep. And now we're ready to um, pour it in the bowl. Not the bowl, the dish here. So you're gonna pour it into the dish. Get it in there. And again, it's this can be made ahead. You could freeze it. You could also um, cut it up and, and put it in little containers all week. It's a it's a good good way to meal prep. I know breakfast can be difficult with schedules. Even now that we're home, breakfast can sometimes be difficult um, because you're getting up and, and you don't leave as much time for yourself to get ready because you're usually just walking down the hall. So uh, this, is, this is really nice. This is a nice dish to uh, use as a gift for someone. Um, someone who may be recovering or just needs a little extra pick-me-up. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of the mini chocolate chip morsels over the top here. And that's it. And we're ready to go into the oven at 375 for about 25 minutes. Make sure you go over to the E-Town store page to see the recipe and a picture of the final product. Thank you, have a great day.